Did that look like fun? I am so excited that you could join me today because we are making ice sculptures. This is one of my favorite activities to do during the wintry months because you can be as creative as you want with it. For this activity, you will need some washable paint. You can also use food coloring, but I really like to use this because it's washable. You'll need a water pitcher, some items around your home that you can stir with, a container to mix your water and paint together, and then this is my favorite part. You can choose what shape your ice becomes. So search around your home for fun forms for your ice, such as a ice cube tray or empty food containers or even bowls. It's really up to you. Just make sure you choose materials that can safely be frozen. I also covered my workstation with newspaper to protect it. Now let's get started. Are you ready? Now, for this step, we will be combining paint and water to make a mixture that we can pour into the containers that we've chosen to form our ice. Now these are looking ready to go, so I'm going to head outside and have these harden in our outdoor prairie until I'm ready to build with them. If you'd like, you can also set yours in the freezer. When your ice has set and it's ready to go, it's time to get them out of their containers. You can do what I'm doing in this video and run some hot water over the outside of the container so the ice can pop out, or you can let them thaw just a bit on your countertop. For this step, you will be preparing your water bottle to be used as a tool to help you piece together your ice sculptures. You'll also need a push pin just like this and some adult help to help you poke one single hole in the top of your lid, just one, and then fill your bottle with water. Now let's start putting together our ice sculpture. I am going to try and stack one piece on top of the other and use my water from my water bottle as glue to stick the two pieces of ice together. You can experiment using both warm and cold water to see which works best and you can also use a little bit of snow. I had so much fun and if you want to give this activity a try at home we would love to see your creations. Find us on our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter and share your work with us using the hashtag PlayAlongSD. And as always we hope you have a great rest of your day.